I remember one of the most frustrating things was that the up arrow is right next to end. And oh. end teleports you to the commons. Does it? Yeah. Also try that at some point. Probably not right now, because <laughs> one, it's on cooldown, and second... <laughs> well... <laughs> let's well, just I mean, there. we're already there. And so I used to, like, go to walk forwards all the time. And, <laughs> and oh, no, I'm back in the commons. Damn yep. it. <laughs> when does the book explode in front of Merle Ambrose's face? Yes. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, wait, it's right now. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it's right now. I thought it was something about Golem Court. But I got my level 5, so I'm going to get my, um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Golem Court is, uh... I know what you're talking about with Golem Court. That's going to be a fun dungeon. I remember it took me like 20 tries to get through Golem Tower the first time I tried to do it. Let's just wait to do Golem Tower until later. <laughs> I, I was like level 5 the first time I tried to do it, and that did not work very well. Yeah, let's just like wait until like right before we fight Nightshade and be like, oh hey, let's go, go do the Golem Tower, and then I will be fine with that. <laughs> that way we actually have a fighting chance of... I think they knew... If I were to guess, I would say this book was the work of oh my God. Beyond God. For I am sure there will be more dangers ahead for Oh, and I can get Snow Serpent too. Oh hey, I just hit level five. Cool. Time to go talk to that sexy ass fire teacher. <laughs> and I'm stuck just, with just a hunchback and a fairy. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know, I mean <laughs> well, that's what you're into. Right? Uh, I feel embarrassed that I don't know the the death kid's name. Malorn. Or Dwergen. Like Dwergen. No, not Dwerg. Yeah, Malorn. <laughs> Never Actually. Dwergen. Dwergen zero out of ten. I don't know. Malorn's all right. He has a cute voice. No. <laughs> Sits down on lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah yes, fire elf. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I have a training point. So I said my secondary was going to be life, correct? Yes. <coughs> you should have two training points. If you went and talked to Merle Ambrose. Yes, two. Two training points. You are correct. And then shut off to Leprechaun, I think. Is there a three pip damage spell for uh, life? I will check. Um, I don't think so. I think it goes straight into Seraph. Three is probably one that you get from a quest. Yeah, no, there's no three pip damage spell. Did At least that you can train. Train. I'm pretty sure nature's fury, but I don't. Yep, leprechaun. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna this head. Is pretty useful because now I have some extra offense as well. Uh, spellbook is P. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why am I trying to go past unicorn way? <laughs> <laughs> Because you are a nerd. <laughs> Bookworm, you are studious. Ugh. Oh, no, I don't want to chat. I want to walk forward. And I don't think we should do the Diego quests at all. Because, Well, maybe. Yes. Why not? They give experience. And they count towards completion. God, I mean, I'm worried. I haven't seen my friend Private O'Brien in a while. So if you're yeah. You got a minute? I'm worried. I haven't seen my friend Private Orion in a while. We both grew up here, you see, 
and he just wanted to make sure the skeletal pirates hadn't gotten Wait a second. Hmm? He could be trapped in Saving house. Private Orion. Please find yes. him, help him get yes. back to safety. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, that that is the reference that we're making there. There's so many references to things in this game. There are so many references. Just like all of the um, so later on we'll do the Prospector Z quests and they have you find um, random little things in each world. So for Wizard City, it's the Smiths. Then you have the like the Beatles or something. Yes, the Beatles. Um, then then um, what's that? The I know it's a cat, like the something cats, Wildcats. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Go Wildcats. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> like, that doesn't sound right. In Marleybone, it's something to do with cats. And then it's like the Blue Oyster, the Blue Clam, the Stone Roses. I don't know. Something. And they're all bands. Oh, hey, fun fact. This is the only time you actually get to go in this house during this quest. After you complete the quest, it gets well, sealed off again. For sore eyes. And it's Private Orion will be... Now that I've cleared it of skeletal pirates. Unfortunately, now there are too many outside. I'm stuck. If you defeat you must defeat more skeletal pirates. pirates. I can make a run for it. You'd be a lifesaver. <laughs> Later on, we should probably just like accept all the side quests and then decide on which one to do. That way we can do like five of them at the same time. Because... <laughs> This is ridiculous. Uh, there are none over there. Up, oh, dang it. Up, oh, dang it. <laughs> we are brilliant. <laughs> I I feel special. Oh, so special. Dark fairy, go. Oh, nope. I'm getting hit by a balance beetle. I will fight back with ice beetle. Go. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I'm as pretty as can be. Oh, hey, we've been recording for an hour and five minutes so far. Sweet. And we're still not even at... <laughs> we're not anywhere. Nope. Hour 200 has been completed. We've gotten so... through Mushu! <laughs> oh my god. So within the first hour... This is a third of the amount of time it took for me and Dakota to speedrun Wizard, Wizard City. My guess is you guys didn't do the um the side quest though, did you? Uh, no. Yeah. But still, we haven't left Unicorn Way yet, technically. Come on. I picked Sorry. the most out of range places for to fight things. Dang it, Zala. Are you in a different fight? Yeah. Yes. Alright, I will. And it's and it's with a skeletal pirate. Well yeah, that's what we need to fight. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm also fighting a skeletal pirate. Skeletal. Skeletal, skeletal. Words. English language. <laughs> Overrated. Wow. <laughs> Much English language. Such, Such English, much language. Wow. And we just lost a subscriber. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay, we just lost 104 subscribers. But that's all of them. Except for what? So what? you won't unsubscribe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even Peasant Sheen will unsubscribe to that one. <laughs> I'm the only person subscribed to game mode who, who won't unsubscribe. <laughs> uh, isn't, isn't that like slightly vain that I'm subscribed to my own channel? Eh, I would subscribe, but at the same time I'm too lazy to, <laughs> to log on and try and actually make a YouTube profile with my uh, Gmail. Solo, everybody. Where did you go? M fighting more skeletal pirates. Where? <laughs> I'm, I'm still like right in front of the house and I'm finding as many skeletal pirates as I need. I'm on the last one. I'm on the last one too. 
cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Just, just cool. cool. Just cool. It's cool. Right. I will meet you back in the house then. At our house. In the middle of the street. A house. In the middle of the. A house. <laughs> So, speaking of completely out of place conversation. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that sentence just <laughs> can't ever end well. Um, I, I was reading this article uh, the other day, and it was about ADHD and ADD. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently. Scientists are starting to theorize like where that originates in the human at. brain. I should be able to. Thanks for checking on me. Tell Private Connolly yeah, I'm doing well. Interesting. And it's uh, apparently there's a study done with um lab mice, which showed that if they were given a certain chemical, that um basically what this chemical did is it promoted growth in a particular part of their brain, which handled um. Mo motor skills mm -hmm. and it made that part of the brain grow like twice as many neural connections or something mm -hmm. and those mice um, started to show symptoms that were similar to human symptoms of ADD and ADHD mm -hmm. interesting <laughs> so there's this whole new theory like let's test and see how many neural connections uh, people with these things have in this particular part of their brain that controls m motor skills. So I'm at Private Connolly to finish that quest after you talk to. Glad to hear Orion is doing well. Say, can you check up on someone else for me? I usually see oh, hey, Dorothy, Dorothy out shopping by. She's just down the road. I don't remember this quest. She usually keeps her lights on. I remember this quest like all, all too the well. Lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame oh, her. Uh, let me see. Yeah, equip that. <coughs> yeah, mine's like a death protection, and I don't really need protection from death at this level. I need health. Yeah. Swag stats. Swag stats? Did I just say swag stats? I think so. Swag strats. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Uh, if anyone needs to know the true meaning of swag, look up, um... <gasps> look up Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island Awesome Games Done Quick 2014, I believe. And then you will know the true meaning of swag strats. Go to Dorothy's Friends in Unicorn Way. I'm alright, but I wish someone could do something about all the... Say, I was having my friends over for Okay. But they are running late. I will do that. I fear for their sake with all those ghosts roaming around. Could you check up on them? My two friends live on this street, down towards the park area. Look for a house with a light on in the window. You can't miss it. And it's not in Kansas anymore, and it's Dorothy, the the dog, and, <coughs> and the... <coughs> the dog and the tin man. I don't yeah. see a cat, though. What do you mean? You don't... what? There are only two people in that house. Oh, oh yeah, there's no lion. Are you sure you weren't lying about that? <laughs> what? You say the door I had to force that one. That wasn't even good. It was just mediocre. Oh, I told you we should have left earlier. Now we've gone and made her worry about us. Oh yeah, and Mr. Toto is a Marlo Marlebonian. We'll learn more about them later. Oh, a Darlebonian. Yep. Marlebonian. A Darlebonian. A Darlebonian. Darley the second boning. Okay then. <laughs> and we're going back to Private Connolly. <laughs> Dang it. They had a beautiful opportunity to make Private Connolly's name like Private Lion or something like that. 
because then that would have been the missing piece. They are safe and sound. It's good to know that they Nah, they can't do that. They need to leave every single end untied. Like those bone keys. Oh, brisk. Oh my god, Are we gonna do... We gotta not do... We gotta, like, hire people to help us with brisk breeze. Yeah, we'll have people help us with brisk breeze. That's ridiculous. Mm. I don't even know how that cheating boss worked, and I don't think I did. I just kind of started wailing at him. And... <laughs> I know vaguely how it works. I know every every few rounds he fills up the empty battle sigils with minions. Yeah. And I remember Other than... one of the things that my friends used to that my friend used to tell me was that after you beat him, there was a way that you could like pick up the spell that he used, whatever that um. <laughs> wow. There was like one of the cheat spells he used, let him take an extra turn or something. And that friend used to tell me that you could take extra turns in battles using it. Glad to hear Dorothy is doing well. Were there any other people with quests that we missed here? Other um, than Diego? Uh, if I not, I think we're... We're set. <sighs> that... That's a little clear. I believe that might be all of Unicorn Way done. Sweet. So I'm going. Uh, I don't know if I want to do the Duel Master quests now. Nah, let's do those later. Yeah. Well, those will be covered in some kind of like weekend video or something. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll take an episode to do the, all the Duel Master quests. We'll like get up to Groctopia, come back, and do. Yeah. Yeah. And now let's talk to Sergeant Mulden. Is that Muldoon or Muldoon? Muldoon. Oh, I, I always think. pronounced it Muldin for some reason. Wait, it's hold like... up. What did that person say? <laughs> Down to the ground and cross my legs annoyed as the grass around me. Oh. Yeah, one thing you will quickly learn about Wizard 101 is that there are a lot of role players. A lot of role players. And it's really hard because a lot of what Wizard 101 does is they try and prevent that. Not necessarily role playing itself, but they they're trying to prevent a lot of words. A lot of words. A lot of boys bought the GameCube. All right, and we're going back to Black Hope. A lot of games bought the Boy Cube. <laughs> a lot of cubes bought the Boy Game. <laughs> A lot of Game Boys bought the Cube Cube. Who goes there? <laughs> We're gonna make a paradox. <laughs> Game Sphere. This darkness has come upon Wizard City. And we're going back to Lady Black All these cubes make a sphere. And then we will actually. Well, not actually. actually is talking about okay, so, which um, street do we want to do first? Firecat Alley, Cyclops Lane, or Triton Avenue? That's a very good question. Do we want to just do them in um, descending, like, altitude level? So, start with Cyclops and then go to Triton? Uh. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, sweet. Then it's decided! Whoa. Someone just posted, sips it all the way. Jeez. Throws <laughs> it at the ground again. <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe this is why people hate Wizard 101. I will admit, though, the Commons is a pretty busy place for people just RPing random ass crap. <laughs> BRB gonna buy a pack of bear. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got all the bear. <laughs> I mean, we do have Dakota. I'm sure he has a few packs of bear. <laughs> Stash with that Dr. Pezzer. Bears, 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 bears. Bears. V, 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 V. 
it annoys me that VVVVVV is the name of that game. Yeah, I was just thinking about that game. I'm like, is that actually a good game? Is it? I feel like it should be called like VVVVVVV. For some reason, that's just a lot easier for me to say than VVVVVV. I don't even know what I'm clapping yet. <laughs> why? Yeah, why are you clapping? God. Oh. oh. Stop trying to demean me. <laughs> fucking, f fucking men and your patriarchy. <laughs> and this is where things get serious, because she has 235 health. Oh, so I'm already goddamn, done. I need more than one spell to kill her. God. I'm already done. Ooh, I, I got a blue cape instead of my white cape, so... But it's the exact same, like, it's the same novice robe. But it's blue but instead it's blue. of white. And I think I like it better. Do you want to build a snow pen hexagonal dodecahedron? It doesn't have to be a snow hexagonal dodecahedron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bazaar and I'm gonna sell some of my extra crap. To get maybe 20 gold. <laughs> So, <laughs> because this isn't worth anything. So we had learned about we're learning about hydrocarbons and chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so um on Friday the thing that we did was the um like aldehydes and ketone groups. Mm -hmm. And friggin' the the suffix for aldehyde is anal. An all. Well, yeah, it's pronounced an all, but I've... I've so it's organic <laughs> chemistry, not hydrocarbons. Like, I know it is organic chemistry, not hydrocarbons. Well, it's a hydrocarbon group, is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a hydrocarbon. But so, I, yeah. I came up with the brilliant pickup line of, Hey girl, are you a hydrocarbon group? Because I feel like I'm going to give you the suffix for aldehydes. That's, that's just like me. I was, um, <laughs> I was doing, um, ooh, I don't know which one else I want, but I was doing this, if I can think about it, I was doing a spotlight for a musical, and this was, this is my first big, like, actually spotlighting for a show. Uh, before I, I did a fashion show, but that's repeatedly at the same exact point to Sounds another fabulous. point. Yeah, it, it is fabulous. It always is, lol. <laughs> but they up. What I what I had to do is I had to take masking tape and a sharpie, and I, there's a bar that the light coming out of the top of the spotlight will shine onto, even when the spotlight's you know like is closed and whatnot. So I put tape and wrote numbers for each Q. And at one point I had to figure out where like Q14 of 16 was. So we're on the end of the show and there's a table there. So and the ghost, I can't, I couldn't see the spike impressive. tape from up in the catwalk. So I had to walk down and I was talking with you know, a friend of mine who is doing, the, uh, who's backstage. And then you to the we were talking about the table. I'm like, is that the spike tape for the table? Something yeah, why wouldn't it be? Come on, Novatoast. He actually does call me Novatoast. <laughs> and something, something, something. something. Um, yeah, it's like a bad pickup line. Hey, girl, you were table? Because you got great legs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was terrible. Okay. I'm like the king of nerdy pickup lines. People have learned that from me by now. Okay. A giant problem. A giant. There's a kid on Cyclops Lane. I've heard some chicks talk about that before. You should talk. He's dealing with the giants there and has been asking so, us. So yeah. Better yeah. see what he wants. What quest does this guy give you anyway? Oh yeah, uh, this is the one a... for Firecat Alley, right? No, that's not for Firecat Alley. That's for something else, isn't it? Well, that's not for Firecat Alley, but it's in Firecat Alley. Ah, okay. Gosh dang, it's all we walk down different sides of the street. <laughs> so I went to follow you, and then my OCD kicked in, and it's like my hand pulled itself away from my keyboard. 
I remember the first time I got into Cyclops. Wet. I was, oh my, I was so like mystified by it. It's like, oh my god, this is this is what member stuff looks like. This is so beautiful. But then I look at it now, I'm like, huh? Yep. Noob. What are you like, doing here? Blew my you mind. What it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. Magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're and going to cover the one inside the dark this cave. spooky dark. Every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go. So I'm hoping for better from you. The spooky Battle dark everything cave. in the dark cave until you find the brune skull. Yeah, haunted minions count as being undead, which I don't quite understand. Well, it's because they're like mannequins being possessed by ghosts. Boom. Oh, these things have way more health than I thought they did. <laughs> Just one of these things had like 85 health. It's like, hey girl, I must be Malister because I want to put my magical artifact artifact in your dark cave. <laughs> I just don't even know what to do at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of, like, really horrible, nerdy, cliche pickup lines, so... For dating tips with game mode, do not watch this video! <laughs> dating tips with game mode, do the opposite of what Roboio does. I mean, how do you think I got so far with Liam? Defeat any undead- uh, did you get the rune skull? Or not? No. Okay. No. I Didn't expect you to. Just shout when you get it, I guess. And by shout, I mean tell me, not actually shout. Sh shout it. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Kill your family. Bop it. Twist Someone it. up at like 200 points would probably consider, <laughs> consider that notion. Oh my god. Nope, nothing. Yep, nope. I want to start a battle. Oh yeah, that awkward cooldown period. Yeah. Which is very helpful and very unhelpful at the same time. Sometimes it's like, you know what? I'm in the middle of the street surrounded by enemies. At other times it's like, you should have made your name Christo. <laughs> Meh. Because <laughs> then it would have been Lucas and Christo. It's funny because people probably have absolutely no idea who that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're restarting the Let's Play so you can name yourself Christo. No. No, just kidding. Krusty. No, Krusty. Alright, I'll kill Key. Okay. I will kill Digger. Digger, Digger. Oh, snap, she's a couple Digger. Oh, snap. <laughs> Fun fact, you know that song, Forget You? Well, yes. when I used to listen to that part where he's like, Oh, snap, she's a gold digger. And then he repeats it a second time. Well, the second time, I thought he said, Just thought you should know. Insert racist expletive here. Let's fight something other than mannequins. Oh, okay. alright, well, after the mannequins, we will fight. I jumped in with another haunted minion. Gosh dang it, so... Uh... <sighs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. They don't know who... <laughs> you were the man of many toasts. <laughs> I'm the man of many names. Nova Toast, Nova Toast, Solo, that kid. <laughs> Toasty. Toasty. Christo. Krusty. Crisco. Extra version olive oil. <laughs> Had that for a year. That what? was a. That was something. Uh. Are you. 
Are you an extra virgin? What do, what what's an extra virgin look like? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know that phrase when um people are like your face is so ugly it's virtually birth control? Mm-hmm. That. That is actually <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's like you've surpassed sh your sheer virginity. You're going outside of the boundary of normal virginity. Did not collect rune skull. Come on. It's like something can be extra legal, or something can be illegal, or it can be extra legal. And extra legal is like. It's not illegal. But it's like morally messed up in one way or another. <laughs> it's like extra virgin. <laughs> you're not a virgin, but you're morally fucked up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I kind of, I kind of zoned out for a second there. I'm like, what's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> extra legal paralegals. <laughs> Parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Paralegal universes. Wow, uh, look at that grave digger. Dying. Technically, we're all illegal aliens. Yeah. Except the... The adverse side to that is that we killed all the people. <laughs> yeah. Who would say that we were? I need to get some mana because I've got like half my mana pop right now. Like my mana um, glow. Your mana pop. Uh, mana. Well, I said pot. Oh, I thought you said pop. Pop. No. Pot. Pop. 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 What was that? Pop. 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 pop, pop. Did Snap. not collect. Uh. Yeah, I got it. Or I did not. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Alright, and now we begin the long drawn out. Hello, and welcome to Wizard 101. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Let's see just how many things we have to fight before we get the collecting quest done. And that is exactly why, to this day, I still hate Celestia. Because Celestia is like nothing about those quests. And and the drop rate rates are all really low. Too. Yeah. Like, like ridiculously the low. You spend a week in the Science Center on like normal playing hours. Like, not eight hours a day. Like a standard two hours, you would probably take about a week in that area. Yeah, got it. Okay, good. Good, we don't need to fight this another four times. This is the only world that has mana and health pips integrated into the streets, I'm pretty sure. I don't usually see mana pips, like, lying around in other worlds. Yeah, this is, I think this is the only place that has, um... Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm smart. Yeah, you go on ahead, I'll catch up. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun sucker to fell. Oh, dang it, I fizzled. How do you fizzle an ice spell? Like, that just shouldn't happen. You How do you a fizzle a life spell? Huh. Faster than I could have imagined. Professor Jake will be pleased with me. Which has a lower damage rate, life or ice? Well, it's ice, right? I told a few students I, to pick up I, I no up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. I think they all start out as the same damage. But I don't know. Can you look after the students? Cause Dark Sprite and Frost Beetle both have the same. To 65 to 105. With the trolls. They look shifty. Defeat trolls and collect any clues. <sighs> I'm fizzling way too much, and this is starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> so, I mean, they could be clues about, like, where the Titanic is. They could be clues about, like, <laughs> who the Mona Lisa was. Just any clues. It's just anything. It doesn't, doesn't have to be about, you know, the, the story. It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, was that? Timmy's in trouble? That's a clue. I finished <clears> the quest. <laughs> Fetch rest. <laughs> Me 
this okay. good. You know. Alright, I was about to say, if this ice spell fizzles, I'm going to lose all respect for ice, get all of it out of my deck, and then just use it for the one shield, and then be done with ice. Spoons. Something else. Spoons. I'm gonna start fighting trolls. <laughs>